Hello everyone and welcome to my corner of the world. Today we're going to do some uh, water colouring um, but with alcohol. So this is a card that I'm going to make and I'm using the prized peony stamp set. This is really pretty, some really lovely realistic um flowers and as as always um i'm all i'm drawn to nice um greetings in in a lovely script so we're gonna start with a piece of scrap paper here and um i've got my card base and this is smoky slate and I'm just going to randomly stamp um, over the surface with the smaller flower. And this is what we call tone on tone stamping because I'm using the same colour ink as my cardstock. So I'm using Smoky Slate card and Smoky Slate ink. So that's my bit there. And while I've got this stamp in my hand, this is my liner. So I'm just going to stamp in the corner there and then an envelope and pop it in the corner on that one there so that's pretty much it for um for though that part and now we're gonna work on on the flower so i've got a piece of uh whisper white cardstock i have a feeling it's either three by three or three and a quarter by three and a quarter but um i will have the dimensions on my my blog and if you look underneath this um, video, you will see the uh, a link to my blog. And so I'm using this lovely big stamp, big peony stamp, and my Memento uh, black tuxedo black ink. Now the tuxedo black ink is a water based ink, and we're going to be using um, alcohol um, to do our painting. And so it's not with the water based ink, it's not going to sort of run and get smeary and look disgusting when it's finished. So there's my my image. I'm going to set that aside. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to take one of my uh, acrylic blocks. Now, you could use a paper plate, whatever have you um, for this. Um, as long as it's a sort of a, a, a non-absorbent surface. And I'm going to take my reinkers. Now I did the other one, I think that was Melon Mambo. So this one I'm going to do um, Mango Melody. So I just want to put a little drop on my block. And uh, I've, I've got um, a an aqua painter. And this is one of the old ones. We've got new ones out now. Um, and I filled it with, I think, what you would call rubbing alcohol. Um, and so you can get this in any drugstore or supermarket shelf. Uh, it's, it's, it's called IPA or isopropanol alcohol. And you want to make sure that you get the high percentage. Um, they do one at, I think it's about 70%, but it's a bit too watery. Um, and the higher the percentage, the quicker it will dry. So that's the one I'm going to use. And I've just filled up my aqua painter with it. I've put a label on it because this one is going to be dedicated to, um, to the alcohol. And I'm just going to give it a gentle squeeze to get some of the alcohol out. And I'm going to pull my colour down. Um, I, want, I want the colour to be quite light because uh, it's easy to put more on uh, rather than uh, be able to take some off. So all I'm going to do is just literally wash over my, my image. There we go. And the ink is leaving lots of lovely um, definition behind. So you're getting the, the sort of shadow. Whoops. So, I mean, I'm not taking an awful lot of care. I'm just kind of putting a bit of a wash. I think that's what I'd call it. A bit of a, a colour wash over up to the lines. I think that one there is a is a leaf. I'm not sure. 
it's running out of color a bit so i'm just going to put a bit more on and then in here is is in that bird it's got a bit more it the some of the petals are showing so i just give that now if you want to put a bit more depth of color you can always go back and take a little bit more color off of your uh, there you can see it goes a long way the um the little dot goes an awful long way and i'm just putting a little bit darker color just just to sort of show you how you can repaint over it um to the middle of a flower because the middle tends to be a bit darker than the outside like that and in order to clean your um aqua painter oh pet you're just gonna squeeze it gently this is my one of my old cloths excuse the disgusting state you're just gonna rub it gently um squeeze it gently to the color to flow out and then just pull it like that and mine i'm gonna use another block to um to do my green um but i would normally clean that one off and do do use the same block but to save time so you can see i'm just using the tiniest little bit and this one is pear pizzazz i think yes and so uh that's my other color so i'm just going to add my pear pizzazz and again i'm starting off with a fairly light color Listen, that's a bit too light and then I can always add a bit more in like that and then my leaves and my stem now this card is just the ordinary light weight um, card it's not it's not watercolor paper it's not the thicker card I find that it it um, it it works quite well, and I'm making sure that my card is not getting too wet. But because it's alcohol, it does dry quickly before the card starts to sort of um, disintegrate and pill. Um, so, but I am working fast to try and and keep the card in a good place so i'm going to put a bit more on that on those on that bird because it didn't get a lot all right okay so i'll clean that one up later so there's and if you can look and look on the back you can see a little bit is coming through but not much and that is all but dry so that's that bit finished um I, the corners looked a bit plain to me, so I got out this this trio punch, and I'm just going to punch the corners with that lovely um, sort of eyelet look, like this. There we go, and then um, onto the back of. Um, a, a layer in it onto a piece of pear pizzazz now i prefer to use liquid glue but you can use whatever works for you i'm just going to put a tiny weeny dot in those corners so they don't shh, um, move in the breeze and just pop that on like that centering it up and this is why i like using my liquid glue because it gives you a little bit of working time to smoosh it on and then I'm going to use some um, stamping dimensionals you've probably heard me say many times one in each corner and one in the middle like that Yep, got them all off. I'm going to put this toward the top. And then I have a piece of Pear Pizzazz card. Uh, it's about, I think it's about seven eighths or three quarters of an inch. I can't remember. But again, remember to look at the link below the video and you'll see a link to my online 
to my blog, which will give you all of that. And I'm just going to stamp. If my head gets in, I apologise. Don't like that. That's better. This one was uh, not level. There you go. But this one is level. And just a pair of snips to cut that. And then using the same punch, I'm going to use the, the corner rounder this time. So it's a long time since I've used this punch, so it's good to be able to share with you how to use both or oh, two of them. And the third one is, is for you to cut a ribbon hole um, or a hole to put a, a you know, piece of string through or on a tag or what have you. Oh, that didn't go in properly. Hmm, neither did that. Can't be doing it right. Hold on. Well, I don't like that at all. So we're going to, um, I'll do another one, but I mean, I won't stick it on for the minute. But I'll do another one for for its photo call. I didn't don't think I had it quite lined up properly on my in my punch. So this is my liner. And then some lovely silver. Um, pearls. So I'm just going to put a silver pearl in each corner here. I wonder how I'm doing for time. There we go. And and since I'm, I am, I'm, it's annoying me that I didn't get that one right. So we're going to try again. And if we don't get this one right, then I'll uh, do it off camera. Right. Okay, let's give it a go. Excuse my head if it gets in. Oh, not bad. So let's try again. So I'm going to put this one in first. And basically, I'm just lining it up against these two markers here. Oh, though that one behaved itself. Now let's make sure, try it this time. So again, I'm making sure it's pushed firmly in. Number one. Oh, that's better. I'm glad I took the trouble. And so then that's just going to go on with a couple of stamping dimensionals. So I've, I stamped that in the smoky slate. It looks nice and soft, um, but it would have looked just as good if I'd used the black ink. And then that's just going to go toward the bottom there. So there we are. Some painting with, uh, with, with alcohol. Well, I do hope you've enjoyed this uh, this card and this technique, and uh, I look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks and bye for now.